Hey guys, how's it going? Adrian back with you for another video. Just kind of want to show you my progress so far. So, just about ready for roof here. I think I got uh, two walls left. One just an inside wall, one's the outside wall. I did that on purpose because that's where I had all the studs in the front there, so I left it open. But as you can see, um, so here's the wall I have left. Basically, just an easy straight wall. And uh, yeah, very very nice house to do. It's a bit of work here in the front because of the uh, height differences. I had to get my hands on the roof layout because uh, you can never be sure what the uh, what exactly the trust company is thinking whether they're going to put the the rays right here is a 16 inch rays. Sometimes they put the rays in the heel so the walls stay the same and other times they put the rays in the wall itself. So that was the case here. Here's what you're seeing. It's an uh, inter interlocking header. Wow, that's bright. So basically I have two two by tens that are gonna run into that staggered in, kind of just like you do a porch. And uh, yeah, that's just a zero casing finish. Kind of the same idea. Oh, that's sounding really great. It's, you probably can't see it, but it's across the way. Similar idea where it's just kind of a window butting into another window. So here you can kind of see more raises and what I did differently on this house is I thought well instead of walking and or walking on basically a catwalk out here these cantilevered uh, LVLs I thought I'd just build it first and there wasn't a floor plywood around so I still got to sheet it but it's a lot less time and work just going out there to sheet. Randall is also the ceiling down below the box, which I have to finish. But that basically continues out onto the porch below. So just a um, 3% slope. And I just did that before I stood any walls. It's just easier to work that way, I find. That continues along the side there, four feet after brick. It's just basically a two foot, two foot. Uh, I think if they put a hardy board, it's a kind of a skirt detail. But that's that. Just one less thing to do after you get off the roof. But I want to quickly show you this. Master bedroom. I really hope the uh, roof shows up tomorrow. I can jump on that. Should be ready for roof by about 9 30, 10 o'clock. But if you look at this, I'm going to back up here so you can get a better view. Basically, the back third of this second floor is, the ma is dedicated to the master bedroom and the master ensuite huge closets. It's a massive closet. Two walk-in closets here going into a large ensuite. So it's kind of nice. But it'll be nice to have a change of pace and just go and uh, start the roof. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's different when you're doing everything alone but anyway that's, uh, that's about it to show you tonight hope you guys had a productive day also hope you guys are staying safe out there 
and drinking lots of water, especially with the weird weather we've been getting. One day it's freezing cold and next day you're back in shorts and sunscreen. All right, well, that's it for now, guys. Take care and have a good one. Bye for now.